Hey there, I'm making um, Albanian crescent or we call it kifne today. Um, they're very soft, very flaky. I have my two cups of milk here preheated at loop temperature, not too hot. So we added two cups here with um, three teaspoons of dry yeast with four tablespoons of sugar, white sugar graduated, and a teaspoon of salt with a vanilla pack of sugar, or you can use a vanilla extract, a tablespoon, that goes in, and my bowl. And just whisk it till the yeast is diluted and it dissolves well. I add my um, half a cup of vegetable oil here, also to my bowl. And incorporate well with my four yolks here. I have my four eggs mixed well. Also added to my bowl. This works it well. And then you just whisk this as well. These are very Easy to make, not much work to it, but they're delicious, and you can eat them with um, jam, or you can eat them just with powdered sugar, whichever your family prefers. So I have my flour here. I'm going to start my flour. One cup. Two cups to start with, and just with your wooden spoon, and just add gradually for needed. cup here, fourth, just blend it well. This dough is not too firm, but also it's going to be very elastic, so just mix it well. It smells good from the vanilla sugar. I have my other cup here. I got five cups so far. Your milk should be warm, not too not too hot because then we'll put our eggs and we don't want the eggs to be scrambled. So then we add, after our ingredients are put, we add the eggs in the end. And we let this rest for at least an hour at room temperature. So I add another half a cup of flour. That's five and a half cups altogether. Now I'm going to work it with my hand on my uh, surface here, just as 
little bit more flour. And then you return it back to the bowl to rest for an hour. This will be quite fast. You can add jam, you can add other cheeses for filling. Very soft, handheld. You don't need a fork or a spoon or a knife. Just take it and go. Make it for the kids. Adults prefer it as well. When my kids were young, I used to make it for them for the lunch bags and just work your dough so your dough is no longer sticky to your hands and just keep adding a little bit more flour Our dough is almost there. You can't, you can't go too firm in this dough. It's very gentle. It's like handling a gentle dough. Very soft. Our dough. Pretty much there. Just let it rest back in a bowl and um, we'll one hour. That's all it takes. Covered with your kitchen towel and lid. So it's all fluffy. I have here flour. Take it out of the bowl. Put it in your working surface. And just gently work it. Your hands. Not too tight. Just enough. Work, cut it into rumbles, just enough small sizes. They'll come out nice and fluffy. So it's very textured, it's very soft. So work it gentle into a little small sizes. Just with your scraper, cut it pretty sharp. I have my sheet here that I put parchment paper and I spread it gently and just work on like that so each croissant is gonna have five layers so we just take our little flour here, not too much flour. It just work it gently. Make it into a round ball. Just let them set. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 pieces. Um, so I let these set until uh, the rise the second time and then put five at a time with flour in between and just roll them out. I have my room temperature butter here unsalted which is going to be spread on the top so our rounds are, are nice soft, not sticky. So my bowls are ready. Five I have here at a time. And we put them together. And then all you do is roll them with a rolling pin. Just flour the surface a little bit more. And just roll them five at a time. That this is going to give our layers very soft and flaky. And all you do is spread them. right now in my soft room temperature butter that I spread evenly so it gives a nice buttery flavor with my pizza cutter I do is cut it into crescent sizes and just put a teaspoon of jam on each cutout. too much. You don't want to overspill your croissant. And just fold them gentle. So 
so you can add one more like that now all you do is pull your dough and roll and tuck and roll and tuck as you can stretch roll That's how it should look. Nice. I have my cookie sheet here. And roll. Just pull and tuck and roll. Pull and tuck and roll. And your crescent needs to be rising again. Just some egg yolks with uh, a little bit of heavy cream mix and just brush them on top and gentle let them rise for a second time and just sprinkle them then with a little roll of sugar on the top. Our crescents rise for the third time at room temperature for another 20 minutes. I have my oven preheated at 350 on the top rack. I'm going to put them for another half an hour. Here's another method that you can use for your crescent. So all you do is start cutting it with your pizza cutter diagonal all the way through and it just gives it a good design and you just roll nice just roll and tuck and roll these are the plain ones you just give it a cute design here I'm making a cherry strudel which with the same dough of my crescent dough, I spread it not too much. I just spread it on the parchment paper and it's very thin, rolled out with some butter. And uh, all you do is roll it gentle. Tuck it in. And my strudel is done. Brush it with egg wash. And then same method, you cook it. Just sprinkle it with some raw sugar, give it a nice crust too. and they're so soft they're nice and soft and airy that's how I make my crescent rolls and my 
nicely flat. Hope you enjoyed the video. So our crescents are ready and they're nice and soft and tasty. They're flaky. And our cherry strudel is ready as well. That's how I make my crescent rolls or kifle. Thank you for watching.